Saborno Isaac Bari, who is known as the god of mathematics, became the youngest professor in the history of mankind. 2x squared minus y to the fourth equals 1. Oh, I know, this doesn't look like a normal function now, does it? But it's going to be fun. What we're trying to do is we're trying to take the tangent to learn. Now, if you don't recall, let's try taking the tangent line with a more normal function. Like, for example, y equals x squared plus 1. Oh, yeah, and I forgot to mention where the tangent line was. Sorry. So the tangent line at minus 1, comma 1. So let's try doing that for a simpler function, like x squared plus 1. Well, that's very simple. What we have to do is we have to take the derivative that is the most important part. And then, uh, well, this actually technically isn't how you would write it, but this would become, using the power rule, just 2x, and the derivative of 1 is 0. Then what we do is we plug x into here. So plugging x into here, we get 2 times minus 1 is minus 2. And then we use our old friend from Algebra 1. y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. Now, this minus 2 represents the slope at the particular x that we chose. So, that means it goes into the m. Then, this x1, we just need to plug in our x coordinate. And for y1, we need to plug in our y coordinate. Okay, so that gives us y minus 1 equals minus 1 times x. Mm. So now, you can simplify this in this form. So now, let's try and take those principles and apply them here. Now, obviously, this is an implicit differentiation problem. So, let's do that. So, if you don't remember... Uh, doing implicit differentiation, whenever we take the derivative of the variable y, we have to add like a dy over dx to the end of the derived term. So taking the derivative, we use the power rule, the 2 goes down here, we get 4x. And then minus, taking the derivative of minus y to the 4th power, we get, using the power rule, 4y to the 3rd power, and we add dy dx to the end is equal to the derivative of constants is 0. And now we solve for dy over dx. So bringing the 4x to the other side, we get minus 4y cubed dy over dx is equal to minus 4x. And this is quite convenient now because the writing, we get dy over dx is minus 4x over minus 4y cubed. Okay, so canceling this out, we get dy over dx is x over y cubed. Now, we do the same thing that we did when we obtained the original dy dx. We plug in, but this time we also have the y in the equation. So what do we do? Well, what was our original point? Minus one comma one. So we plug both x and y in. So that means dy over dx is equal to minus one over y cubed is one cubed, which is one. So, we get minus 1 for the slope. And then what we do, minus y1 equals x, uh, no, m times x minus x1. And so, now we get y minus, what is y1? Well, it's 1. It's equal to m, which is minus 1, times x minus, x1 is negative 1 and minus negative 1 is positive 1. Okay, so this gives us y minus 1 is minus x minus 1. So now we can cancel out these minus 1s on both sides. We get y is minus x, or in other words, x plus y equals 0 is our tangent line. That's how the answer choice is formatted. That's it. Thank you, everybody, for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Saborno Isaac Bari who is known as the god of mathematics, became the youngest professor in the history of mankind.